I'm going to start this video with a differentiation. The word route is often mispronounced as root. In express applications, this can lead to confusion. In an application, the root is considered the project folder where all files and folders are stored. A route is a path that describes how to get to a resource that is being sought. For example, consider Route 66, which is more frequently pronounced Route 66, which is a highway system stretching from Chicago, Illinois to San Bernardino, California in the United States. However, if you were to use a mapping application to describe how to get from Boise, Idaho to Yellowstone National Park, depending upon your mode of transportation, different routes or options would be presented. So, let's make sure we use correct pronunciation to avoid confusion. When describing how to find a particular resource, we use a route. Let's look at a few simple examples. In our web application, specifically the server.js file, we describe where all of the static files, for example, images, CSS files, and client-side JavaScript files, will be stored. To keep the server.js file from bloating, we use a basic route statement that points to a dedicated router file. The details for these three static file types are provided in this router file. By using the app.use and router.use functions, these routes are available to the entire application and all views that will use any of these static files. A second example, also found in the server.js file, is the route to deliver the home view. Notice that all the code for this route is located in the server.js file. That's because this route only has to deliver the home view and nothing else. This route consists of several parts. First, the get listener. Second, the actual route, which is a simple forward slash. And third, the result handler. In this instance, when a browser sends a GET request to the server, consisting of the server name and nothing else, this route picks it up and calls the result.render function. The function is told to deliver the index view, which is stored in the view folder and a title of home. The EJS view engine then directs the layout.ejs file to collect all of the partials and the index file to build a complete finished view and return it to the browser. The key thing to note is that if you look at the source code in the browser, there is no sign of EJS. It is only the finished code that EJS caused to be built. In review, a route is used to describe for the server the resource being sought. When we build a link into a view, we must be sure to also build a route starting from the server.js page, possibly including a specialized router file that leads to the means of delivering the content back to the browser. 